Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically add new Zoho form entries into Google Sheets. So the idea is that if someone fills out your Zoho form, the data of that particular response will be automatically added into Google Sheets. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Zoho forms and Google Sheets. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Zoho forms and Google Sheets. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Zoho form and this is my Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a dummy submission in Zoho forms and see whether the details of the submission arrives in Google Sheets automatically or not. So we have a person called as Janice. The last name is Willis. Then we have the email address of Janice, janice34 at the rate gmail.com. This is the phone number, this is the age and her gender is female. So Janice is going to submit this form. Okay, so the form submission has been made by a person called as Janice. So what we're going to do here is we are going to look into the Google Sheet. Do we have the details of Janice? Okay, so let me just refresh this Google Sheet. Yes, we do have the details of Janice. We have the first name as Janice, we have the last name as Willis, we have the email address and then we have the age, we have the sex and of course the phone number. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Zoho Forms to Google Sheet? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that has integrated Zoho Forms and Google Sheet. So all you have to do is just build this workflow for once using Public Connect and from now onwards, whenever a new response is added in Zoho Forms, the data will be automatically added in Google Sheets. Let me show you the process. So in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own, your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going with Zoho Forms to Google Sheets. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. Zoho Forms to Google Sheets. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now we plan to send the data from Zoho Forms. So in the trigger window, let's make it as Zoho Forms, this one. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new form submitted. Okay, so basically the essence is we are just trying to integrate Zoho Forms to Public Connect. So these are the instructions we have to follow. Okay, so the first instruction is we have to log into your Zoho Form account. So we have already done it. This is my Zoho form account. Excellent. Then we want to integrate to a particular form. So that means we have to click on edit. So this is the form contact form and we want to uh, uh, integrate this particular form to public rent. So that is why let me just straight away click on edit. Okay, so what's next? Now after edit, you have to go to the integrations webhook and configure webhook. So as you can see, this is the form. Okay. And here you will find the option called as integrations you click here okay so now in the integrations you have to go to the part that is webhooks so let me just scroll down and here you will find webhooks okay so as you can see the present status is disabled so what we have to do is we have to make sure that this is enabled okay and after that we have to enter the webhook url so this is my webhook url i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here okay now what we have to do is we have to change the content type as application slash JSON application slash JSON. Okay, then what's next? Then we have to map all the we actually you have to enter the name of the form fields and map it with the respective fields. Okay, so these are all the form fields that I have already added. Okay, so now what are these form fields? So to explain you better, let me just straight away take you to the form. Okay, so let me just once again click on the builder and I'm going to uh, Go to the form okay and uh, as you can see this was the form okay let me just click on add another response so we have the fields like the first the last name the email the phone the age and the gender so these are all the fields we have and the webhook configuration had make sure you have to make sure that uh, you have to enter all those fields 
whose data you have to collect. So I want to collect the data of all these fields. So that is why I have added all these fields here also. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, add one more field. Okay, so we have uh, all these fields. Now how about we add one more field? Let's say we let's go with the number and uh, the name of the field will be for height. Okay, that will do height. Okay, let me just click on save. So we have added one more field that is for height. Okay, that's cool. Now what we are going to do here is we have to make sure that this field height should come here so that the webhook can receive the data from that particular field that is for height. So we have to add here. Now before we add here, let me just once again click on refresh. Okay, let me just reload. Okay, so let it get re reloaded. Once again, we have to go to the webhooks. Okay, once again, let me just click on enable. Let me just... <coughs> <coughs> let me just add once again the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. Okay, I should have done this uh, earlier. Okay, I'm sorry. And the content type is application slash JSON. Okay, so now here I'm going to add one more field so that the for the webhook configuration. So let me just click on the plus button. Okay. And here, let me just type height. Okay. And let me choose the field as height. Okay. Yeah, this is the one we want. Okay. Excellent. So we have added uh, the content type. We have also set up the webhook status as well as the webhook URL. Excellent. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on save. Okay, so essentially this means that we have integrated this particular form to Public Connect. So this basically means that when we make some entry in this particular form, Public Connect has to capture the data and Public Connect is now ready to capture the data. Okay, as you can see, it is already waiting for the data. So let me just make some entry. So we have a guy called as Matthew, Matthew Perry. And this is the email address of Matthew Perry, Matthew34 at the read gmail.com. Okay, and then we have the phone number of Matthew. So a bunch of random numbers and this is the age of Matthew. He's a male and this is his height 174 centimeter. Okay, and let me just straight away click on submit. So the submission has been made by a person called as Matthew Perry. So let's have a look. Do we have the details of Matthew Perry in Public Connect or not? Yes, we do have the details. So this is the email address. We have the phone number. This is the first name. This is the height. This is the gender. This is the last name. And of course, this is the age. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create, we are going to send all this data to Google Sheet. So let me just introduce Google Sheet here. Google Sheets. Okay, so I'm planning to teach you everything from scratch. So that is why I'm just going to create a new Google Sheet. We can ignore this old Google Sheet. Okay, I'm just uh, canceling that. And let me just straight away go to Google Sheet. We are going to start from scratch. So let me just click on blank. Okay, so what are fields we have? Okay, one was uh, the first name, the first name, then we have the last name, okay, and then we had, I think, the age, then we have the email, then we have the height, and also I think we have the phone number. I think these are all the fields we want. Okay, so we actually can give a name, um, data, Zoho Forms data. Zoho Forms Database. Okay, so Zoho Forms Database. So this is the name of this Google Sheet. Zoho Forms Database, we have added the columns, first name, the last name, the age, email, height, and of course the phone number. So what we are going to do here is in the action event, let me just straight away click on add new row. So you obviously thinking why the action event is add new row. Well, the answer is we are going to insert the data into adjacent cell one by one, therefore creating a new row. If you don't get it, I will explain in detail when we start mapping. So let me just straight away click on connect, go to the new connection, just click on connect with Google Sheet. Okay, so this particular Google Sheet, Zoho Forms database is created in this uh, account, in this Gmail account, so I'm selecting this one. Now Public Connect wants access to my account, so before you click on continue, let me just tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just straight away click on continue. Authorization successful, excellent. So we have the default select spreadsheet at Zoho Forms database. So this is the 
spreadsheet and these are all the spreadsheet that is present in my gmail account so i'm interested in this one okay zoho forms database and by default it is showing the select sheet as sheet one because there is only one sheet that is sheet one okay so let's start mapping we have the first name so let's map the first name so the first name is matthew and we have mapped it now if you are confused where this matthew came from if you remember this was the data that we have received from google i'm sorry zoho forms okay matthew it is then we have the last name so the last name was uh, perry okay then we have the age so the age is uh, 34 okay after that we have the email so the email is this matthew34 at gmail.com so let me just add the height height is 174 centimeter and this is the phone number okay so we have mapped all the details okay at this point all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this data to google sheet so let me do that okay so the response is a positive one so let's have a look so as you can see we have the first name as matthew the last name is perry the age is 34 the email is matthew34 at the rate gmail.com and this is the height and this is the phone number so we have got all the data from zoho forms into google sheet the presence of this uh, details the presence of this data indicates we have a successful integration between zoho forms and google sheet now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just minimize the action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated zoho forms to public connect and then you integrated public connect to google sheet so now there's a perfect flow of data between zoho forms and google sheet excellent